Alright, what's good y'all? It's your boy Bobby W223 here. I'm just going to go ahead and just jump into this. As I said uh, a few days ago, a week ago, whatever, I was going <clears> to <throat> do a video uh, kind of going more into this whole co-op thing and the order and PlayStation 4 and Sony in general. Now, obviously, everything I'm about to say is my opinions. I repeat, it's my opinions. This isn't facts. You don't got to agree, but you know. Basically, the way that I, I feel about it, I think that Sony, with the PlayStation 4, they need to focus a little more on cooperative games than they did last generation. Now, I'm not trying to say that every game that Sony comes out with should have two or four player co-op. I'm not trying to say that. I'm, I just feel that they need more exclusive co-op games than they had last generation, which... For any person who gamed on the PS3, you know those games were scarce. Majority of the uh, co-op games that are on the PS3 are multi -plats. Like, for example, Borderlands. That just popped into my head as an example. You know, games like that. Otherwise, a lot of the really strong uh, PS3 exclusives were single-player or they, you know, maybe had some competitive multiplayer, but a lot of them lacked co-op. And I think that's something that... Uh, uh, Nintendo and Microsoft um, are very strong and with their exclusives they have very nice and very fun uh, cooperative games or very fun you know local you know kind of split screen type of games whether it's like the Mario Karts or uh, you know Smash Brothers which isn't you know necessarily split screen <clears throat> but you know you can play you know games like Smash Bros and Mario Kart you know competitively and co you know cooperatively you know you can be in the same team things like that and of course you know xbox you got the halos and the you know gears of war games you can play through the, the story you know cooperatively right <clears throat> whereas a lot of ps3 exclusives didn't really have that some did you know you had you know uh, your your resistance games uh things like that like especially the third one you know you had two player online co-op and two player split screen co-op and resistance 2 had its little side co-op thing and then um <clears throat> the first resistance you know you had the two player split screen co-op you know things like that and i'm not so i'm not saying that they don't have any co-op games here here what i'm saying but i think that they need to take an opportunity with the ps4 and really focus on putting some uh cooperative games out for their system, especially when it comes to the to the new IPs, I understand some of their you know older IPs have kind of been established and um, are are pretty much well known as uh, single player only games, and that's that's fine. That's all well and good, you know. Whether they want to mess with those old IPs and you know and put more of a, a stronger co op um, aspect onto it or not, that you know that's fine if they want to keep it the way it is or, or whatever. But I think when these new IPs come out, like for example, the Order 1886, I really feel that that was a missed opportunity that they could have had a strong cooperative game pretty much right from the gate. You know, within the first you know 12 months of the of the system, <clears throat> unless this game gets delayed, which I honestly kind of feel that this game isn't coming out this year. But we'll see. You know. Whenever this game comes out, you know, this is obviously, you know, still, you know, in the early days of the PS4, I think that this is a way, or this could have been a way to get, you know, uh, a demographic that they maybe didn't have as much with the PS3, and they can get some more gamers to uh, buy systems. Because what, what's the main reason a lot of people say that they buy game systems, especially in the, you know, first couple of years? Oh, because my friends bought it. You know, they, they buy these systems because their friends get them. So if they had a, a strong, you know, cooperative game, I think that would be a, a, another excuse for multiple gamers to buy a PS4 all at the same time. Obviously, com competitive online multiplayer can do the same thing. I understand that. But I, I just feel that that's one of the few uh, things that Sony has lacked especially in the last generation because you know that I, I love Sony's exclusive I think that they had some of the best exclusives last generation especially when it came to single player and they had some decent competitive multiplayer but if you look co-op co is probably the the main thing out of those three aspects that they kind of lacked and I think that they could really take you know this medium by storm if they not only have some of the best single player games but then also add some co-op you know, in a game like this where you have these four characters and this kind of, you know, alternate reality, you got these cool weapons, yada, 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 and that this could have been a fun third-person co-op game, you know? 
Like, and I just, I just feel like that's a missed opportunity. But, you know, this game, do, you know, doesn't have it. It's going to be single player only. Okay, fine. But hopefully, you know, down the pipe, you know, sooner than later, they're going to really come out with some decent cooperative games because I would love to see that. I like co-op games, but I think that Sony really needs to, you know, pump out some, you know, of their own. Like I said, you got games like Borderlands, which is great. You you got Destiny that's coming. I can't wait for Destiny. That's one of my most anticipated games. You got, you know, The Division. You got games like this coming out that are uh, cooperative, but they're multiplats. I know you have Deep Down, which is made by uh, Capcom and uh, and all those guys, and that's a, a, a PS4 exclusive. That's you know that's cool. I know there's a couple other games out there, but I think that they really need to focus on that more so than they did last gen, and they could really have this generation sewn up because you're getting the best of you know pretty much all three. You get great you know, single player games, you got your, you know, your co-op, you got your competitive multiplayer, you got it all, you know, and I just feel like they just, they kind of had a missed opportunity with, with the order, but, you know, we'll, we'll see, I'm, I'm still keeping this game on my radar, it's not my most anticipated game or anything like that, but I'm definitely going to keep, you know, an eye out for it, but, um, we'll see what Sony does in the future, you know, so far so good, but, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, let me know what you guys think, do you guys think that Sony needs more, uh, exclusive cooperative games, or do you think the way that they're going about with their games is perfectly fine, are you more of a single player gamer, uh, competitive gamer, cooperative gamer, L let me know in the comments, but, uh, it's your boy Bobby W 223 and, uh, peace out.